So here's one, though, that I've heard that might be a little outlandish, but I, I, I think it's relevant. Back to what does God say? What does Scripture say? I've heard this from many places. And that is, oh, well, Revelation says this whole world's going to burn up anyway, and we're living in the end times. It's about to happen any minute now because they're just convinced that the world is just about to end and it's all going to get burned up. So why should I care? And I've heard that regularly used as, oh, this is a reason why environmentalism, whatever, what have you, stewardship of the creation, that doesn't apply to us. What would you say to that? Because that's someone trying to say, oh, well, see, right here it says, I mean, it's it's all going to burn up. So it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. I would say there's two parts, maybe two parts to that question. Number one, uh, let's say, let's, let's for the sake of argument, agree that it's all going to burn up. Does that make it any more right to disobey when God says that we ought to be good stewards of what he's given us? Mm-hmm. So let, let's, it, even if it's going to burn up, does that mean that we, um, you know, just just destroy the farmland around us? Um, does it mean that be, because God is going to destroy the earth, everything that he said about uh, being good stewards doesn't apply? Mm. So that's the one part of it. And uh, of course not. If it's going to be uh, destroyed, God st- we're still supposed to be good stewards. The other question is, um, is there any hints that creation will be renewed rather than destroyed. So this is, the one isn't dependent on the other. Uh, just because it's going to be destroyed doesn't mean it, it dis- we disregard all of God's inc- uh, commands mm. to be good stewards. And the second question though, is are we on solid footing that it's just going to be simply destroyed? That's a that, second question. See, that, that's a really good point because when people use this, they, they would say with great confidence, you know, like, oh, yeah, it's all going to get destroyed. So it, it doesn't matter. And then that's that's the kind of the crux of the, of the whole argument. And I've always wondered about that because you, you've also been referring back to, yeah, but there's all these other scriptures saying to take care of what God's given us, take care of the, the earth, whatever, however you want to phrase it. I mean, we see that right in the Garden of Eden and a lot of other places. Uh, is this, is, are these people too confident perhaps in their position that just says, oh, it doesn't matter because it's all going to get burned up anyways. So yeah, walk, walk through that a bit. Destroyed versus renewed. What does that look like? Um, cause I feel like it's not quite clear in my own head and <laughs> yeah. So, so help me out with that. So Christians, good Christians disagree on this point of, uh, emphasizing the destruction or the renewal. Uh, I was, uh, at Maranatha Bible School as a teacher, and there was discussion. You know, which one should we emphasize, that it's going to be renewed or it's going to be destroyed? Hmm. And uh, there is evidence in Scripture for both. We often think that the earth is going to come to, uh, you know, a sudden end. But then we have verses like Psalm 148, and verse 6, uh, talking about the creation, and then it says, he has established them forever. Oh. And Hmm. Ecclesiastes 1 and verse 4, generations come and go, but the earth remains forever. Hmm. Now, that's really interesting. I've never picked up on that one before, actually. And and there's more. Hmm. There's those verses, but there's others that uh, we often think of, you know, we we often would emphasize. Hmm. uh, And and this is not to argue that there's no arguments on the other side. We obviously have 1 Peter 3, Mm -hmm. um, so the the, the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Um, Hmm. But there is yet, you know, so this idea, a hint that creation, the molecules of creation will in some sense survive that. Is there any other hints of that? Well, there's another one. Uh, Christians believe in the resurrection, the bodily resurrection. And 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 this is another oh, one that yeah. has faded in the background. So go ahead. Ooh, yeah, yeah. okay. I, I wonder if I, I think I might see where you're going here. Because that's something that I very rarely have heard about, talked about, it, the, the bodily resurrection and things. Like, it feels kind of fuzzy in my head. Is it because, oh, this, this is kind of confusing, can't really wrap our heads around it, so it's not, exa- it's not like a topic of conversation <laughs> very often? I would, love, I would love to hear you d- dig into this one because I feel like this is a pretty important piece. I do Cause agree. Because it, well, it seems to fit with these themes of renewal, 
uh, resurrection. You know, there, there's a lot of these themes flowing through the New Testament, but I don't feel like I've, yeah. I know nearly enough about this. So I, I'd be happy if you'd dig into that a bit. And, and I do agree in our day and age, we, we think and very much think in terms of uh, when we die, we, we become disembodied and we go to heaven. And yeah. uh, what we would actually, we actually, if we want to be very careful about how we talk, what we actually believe is we go to the intermediate state which is before our bodies are resurrected. So, um, mm, okay. and, and not to, to geek out too much, <laughs> um, but what happens to us when we die now, and, and, and we would say this in our, in our statements of faith, that we believe we go to the, we are disembodied. We no longer have our body. Um, but someday the ultimate hope of all Christians, and this is not some, only some Christians, is that we have the hope of bodily resurrection. And, and, and if, if, if it's hard to believe that, then my next point will be, it, it'll be, but if we believe in some kind of bodily resurrection and classic orthodox historic Christians do, and we, 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 we have a less, in our day, we, even Mennonites would have a little bit less of a grasp on that. Uh, I, I think you're correct in saying that, hmm. but that is what Christians believe. And, and I'm not being uh, controversial when I say that. If we are going to be bodily resurrection, that means that some of the molecules of God's creation are going to survive in mm. some sense. And that is a hint that more could as well. Do you understand my argument there? Yeah. So yeah. if we are bodily, if we plan to come mm. out of the grave mm -hmm. and all, all Christians, all classical Christians, when they think carefully about it, they do agree mm -hmm. that we are going to come out of the graves, right? The, mm -hmm. the dead in Christ shall rise first. Mm -hmm. It's not they're not going to stay in the grave. The, the body that was buried is somehow going to come out. And, and we can, there's, you know, a lot of questions about how that all will be. What does renewal all mean? But in some sense, what God created will be raised from the dead. Mm -hmm. Like Jesus was raised from the dead. Did his created body stay in the grave? It disappeared. Mm -hmm. The molecules that were in the grave were renewed into a new body. And yeah. so there mm -hmm. is at least a hint in this discussion about will, will, will what God created be destroyed or will it be renewed? In, in my mind, there's a strong hint in the resurrection of Jesus and the resurrection of all Christians that it will be renewed, not destroyed and disappear. And so one part of the three pieces of creation, uh, in, in the beginning I said I'm going to talk about kind of three pieces, the land, animals, and humans. Mm -hmm. And we, we are pretty convinced as Christians that humans will be bodily resurrected. That points that possibly some of the rest will be renewed as well to answer those who mm -hmm. feel that they're very confident that it will be burned and destroyed, um, mm -hmm. um, that, that, that they're – Something will come through that fire and be renewed, mm -hmm. not destroyed. Mm 